Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about uh, something that will help sharpen up your builder skills out there, and what we're going to learn to do today is we're going to learn how to make circles in Minecraft. Now, of course, it could be very easy, a lot of people grasp on it very easily, but, you know, you could also use world edit, which is another thing, but we're going to learn how to freehand circles today. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is that, you know, building circles is a very, like, hard thing to do for some people. And, you know, implementing it into certain builds is also even more difficult. So, what we're going to do is we're going to learn, you know, the certain tips and uses for circles. And, you know, build a few ourselves. So, let's begin. Alright, so I am here on a flat world. Just nothing here. The first thing that we were going to learn to do is make world edit circles just to get out of the way. But, you know, we were, we we're mostly going to focus on free handing circles. Now, I don't even need a wooden axe. I don't even know why I picked it. Now, to generate a certain circle, uh, all you need to do is just put in, and you will need world edit if you want to use this. Just put in slash slash, and I'm going to serve it right now. Uh, CYL, and then your choice of material I'm gonna use stone so one and then your radius now, your radius depends on how big the circle will be so I'm gonna choose five and then here we will make a five radius circle here and you can make even bigger ones such as ten maybe here we have a ten sphere and then you know these are kind of filled in you could also make empty ones as well and the way you do that is you just edit the command just put H in front of it so hollow cylinder and you make a flat circle like that now you can also make spheres and cylinders as well but you know we're not gonna get into that today's just circles but you know in case you wanted to know it's just slash slash sphere and then you can make the same thing that's basically it so in order to make circles that's what we're mainly gonna focus on today Alright, so if you do not have World Edit and you're on single player or something like that, then you could definitely freehand circles, and this is probably going to be the bulk of the video. We're going to learn how to freehand circles. I have red wool because it's a very good material to mark out things. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to start with the smallest circle possible, and that's literally just one block that sets you consider a circle. And then it gets bigger to like this. And then we start to get make like real looking circles, and the first one is the three radius circle or one or two radius circle right here just three blocks here on each side now a good tip in making these things are you gotta have a certain pattern set in your head which really helps when you're placing the blocks and you don't need it for something like this but when you get bigger for example we're going to make something a little bigger we're going to make a 313 circle that's what I call it and it's just a little bigger but nothing difficult and then once we start from there, you could also make it like a little wider, so maybe five. Like that. With a radius of five. Uh, but, you know, something like this doesn't look too circular. You could always like sharpen it up by doing the same thing. Which is why, you know, a circle is a little better. But, uh, we're going to go larger, and we're going to start making something like corners here and this is another circle I call this the three corner three so weird but you know I have that pattern set in your head and this is where we start making like you know circles that actually look like circles and they could go even bigger so make three and then two one two three and then they just start getting bigger but, you know, if you go on, like, Minecraft wiki pages, they also have, uh, certain charts to help you out on these. But if you want to, like, you know, memorize it, then, you know, these are very helpful when building, especially for things that I do. So, yeah, he, these are just bigger circles. Uh, I think they're even bigger ones that you can make. So, you can even go... This one's gonna be a 5, 2, 2, 1, and then 2... So it's five two two one one two, and then you just copy the same thing. Basically, once you get like a certain curve like this, you can just do the same thing over until you reach all four corners. That is basically it. 
you could probably ex the, the best way to help out um help yourself out on these things are you just have to experiment with them see what the best curves are but the real question is you know how to implement these into your builds or why these are helpful so basically what these actually help you out with is you know building certain shapes and stuff really requires you to you know learn how to make you know certain angles and curves and shapes like for example I'm just gonna like make an example here here I have sort of a curve which really helps with things like landscaping and stuff but yeah these circles I'm gonna uh, I'm going to actually go uh, show you some examples of how these actually you know really help on builds alright so one example of you know how to implement circles in builds are you know th this model right here now this is actually the 3d uh, print that I actually uh, made and broke uh, to see right on my desk here this is the real version of it right here uh, now as you can see there are so many circles in this build right here as you can see the whole build is a circle starting from the top you can already see that there's a th there's like a whole like nine you know two two one one here and then you know I actually hand built the sphere or this dome which really helps out the build over there too as well also uses circles that whole rose window whoops yeah, the whole the, the whole rose window over there built by a circle uh, these roofs over here as well so as you can see you know there's a lot of ways to implement uh, using circles but you know the ones that I built are pretty basic they could get really big but you know if you have world edit then it's nothing big this is just a short informational uh, video you know to help you guys out very easy tip but you know it's pretty easy so how about we start making shapes out of circles instead of just building them you know alright so we are going to be building something just to show you guys how to implement these circles into an actual build and nothing is more circular than a flying saucer so we're going to build a very simple flying saucer just to show you how to implement this into builds because you know these skills are very very helpful but you know they're nothing unless you could apply them you know to building so we're gonna start with a three and then two one three I mean that's two and then three so now we got our curve here very small it's a very small circle uh, but you know start off small and simple and then gradually get bigger at these things but yeah, if you actually think about it, just think that, you know, the uh, building the corner of these things are basically just, you know, getting a smaller and then larger. And then that's how you basically make a, cur a curve. So, that's that. We already have half done. Alright, looking good. So, this is basically the biggest circle. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make another circle which is going to be with a f uh, compartment like the cockpit is going to be right here. And another thing, another really good thing to know is, you know, measuring circles uh, using a good tool if you have world that it is using a wooden axe, you know, to measure how much it is. I don't have my commands on right now, but it could show you how much each block is. But right now we have a three circle in the middle right here. It's always good to know where these things are centered because it could be really helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be filling this whole thing up. And until uh, we have the whole top of this UFO ready. And then we're going to build up in the middle as well. but you just gotta go around and then this will also create a circle too as you can see you got three two two three but as you can see uh, this looks you know more sharp you know it really helps these circles with uh, you know making builds look more precise and you know very 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 more accurate but here we go we have the top much done so it, it's already starting to look like a UFO and we're going to add some stone to the top 
just gonna add a cockpit floor actually it's a very basic UFO but you know it has a lot of circles in it already so as you can see there's already three circles in we have the three 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 in the middle just three 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 and then we have the three two one th two three and then three two two three so a lot of circles and then this part sets seem not really relevant but we'll just top it off just gonna put some glass on the top and then that is basically it so that is your basic UFO there it's not like good but you know it does show how to make you know how to implement circles definitely make this thing much better you know, with bigger circles and stuff but you guys show me maybe uh you know tell me how you do these things i hope you guys found this helpful very simple video uh you know but we'll have some more exciting things coming up lately uh in the future but i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys found it felt helpful uh if you guys really did like it then be sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later